Hi everyone, welcome back to Subnautica. This is episode 3. Okay, where we left off last time, I just built this uh, cool little underwater base structure thing. I've stuck some lockers down so I can store all my stuff in. I would like to build this battery charger, which requires a copper wire and a wiring kit. How are we going for resources? I, I want to visit the Aurora, like, very, very soon. It's like a high priority for me. I still don't know where that life pod 6 is. Um, maybe if I replay the message? Oh, whoops. Um, there we go. Let's re this is life pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Okay, has it appeared? No. Maybe I'm too far away from it? I don't know what, what the deal is. Um, okay, so one thing I would love... Wait, oh. Firstly, I would love some water. I'm gonna have to deal with this water situation very soon. Um, I'm always out of water. I need to go pick up a bunch of bladder fish. I also need to fill up my food as well. Um, but let's let's have a look. I want the mobile vehicle bay. I need a power cell. I want to go to the Aurora before I get that. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely. So yeah, the battery charger required. Where is it? Where, there it is. A wiring kit and a copper wire. So. Wiring kit is these two, and a couple of wires those two. As you can see, I'm very low on crucial resources. Having a battery charge is nice. Although I am about to pick up a ton of batteries. Okay. Basically, these solar panels here will... will charge all my batteries for me, so... Oh, I don't have any titanium. Okay, I'll just go to my titanium locker. Oh god, my resources are so bad. I need to do some big runs. And as you can see, you just stick the batteries in there. So, like, one thing I could do is just unload all my batteries right now if I want. I, I don't need to do this. But, uh, I'm going to anyway. Just, just to demonstrate. And battery, battery, battery. And you can even see the, per the percentages there. And uh, these solar panels will slowly tick them up. So while they're charging, let's go grab some some food. So I want a few of these peepers. Well, I mean, getting a boomerang fish doesn't hurt. There we go. Bladder fish. There are better better water supplies than bladder fish. I will be making a filtration system at some point. Um, that's pretty good. Food and water. Okay, we'll make the water first. Because water doesn't rot, the food does. I'll actually get lots of water on the Aurora. Oh, will I? Because I... I uh, depends how much of it I do. Let's cook these boomerangs. They're not that good. Peepers are much better than boomerangs, but I got three of them, so... Okay, eat, eat, eat. There we go, 100%. Let's grab some water. That's pretty good, actually. I'll take the fire extinguisher with me, actually. I accidentally left it in my inventory, but I'm actually going to take it with me. That's another distress signal. This is Avery Quinn, oh, no. trading ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long-range scans pick up in the meantime. Alright. I was just being quiet while you all listened to the message. Um, what have we got here? Oh yeah, our batteries. As you can see, they're nearly all 
that's 98, this is 100, that's 100, and this will be 100 in a minute. So let's um, chuck this in here, let's chuck that in there. Oh, I didn't empty this thing. Oh no, that doesn't have a power source. Um, grab that. It doesn't matter, I won't be using the Habitat Builder for a while. In fact, we will chuck the Habitat Builder in here to conserve space. And I think we're going to find some water, so we'll leave that there. We've got a repair tool. We don't have a laser cutter. So there's not much we can actually do. Um, but this is enough. We should be able to pick up some batteries from the Aurora. Oh, wait, we can't go to the Aurora. We don't have a radiation suit. Uh, which, yeah, there's still more to do. What am I thinking? I, I thought we already got it for some reason. I, I just realized then we didn't. Yeah, more water's good. We want to cut these things, okay? One, two, three, four. Okay, and that would have given us the fiber mesh blueprint, which is uh, really useful. Uh, we don't have any lead. Ugh, wasting time. Where's my base? Let's grab some lead. That's food, that's not lead. Do you see these? You can actually eat these as well. They give a bit, bit of food and sometimes a bit of water. Let's just take all our lead, because I don't know how much we're going to need. Grab all our titanium as well. Because we're going to come back in here and dump everything we don't use. Okay, I want a radiation suit. I can't go to the Aurora without it. Or I'll die. Okay, so, fiber mesh. The reason I'm making these fiber meshes, you'll see in a moment. Um... Pathfinder tool? Okay, yeah, we want this. Radiation suit. Requires two fiber mesh and two lead. So we'll, uh, we can also use, we can also turn fiber mesh into first aid kits. So if, if this thing here isn't fast enough, we can always, we can always just make them ourselves manually. Okay, we grabbed, end up getting a helmet, a suit, and gloves. Um, bladderfish. Let's get some water. Okay, what's this? Okay, oh, yeah, we don't want any more O2 tanks. Air pumps and pipes, we're not going to use them. We will get this rebreather very soon. How are we going for silver? We can afford it, but uh, we need to we need to do something about the radiation levels. Do I hold out for another med kit? I'm going to take this fire extinguisher with me. I, I don't think we really need it, because there, there are fire extinguishers on the Aurora, but I'll take it anyway. Um, when that hits 100%, we'll have another med kit to take with us. Uh, we should find med kits on the Aurora too, so it's all good. But this is an important thing to do, explore the Aurora, wherever it is. Um, it's, it, firstly, it continues the storyline. You, you learn more about what's going on in this world. You know, Right now we're just in survival mode. We're not trying to escape or anything. We're not trying to unlock the mystery of what on earth happened to our ship. Um, all we're trying to do is not die, but, um, but yeah, very soon, whoa, oh, that, that would have been a, um, whoa, you see that? No, it's just coral. <laughs> I thought it was something else. Um, but yeah, once we're, we're all established and we're okay, we're doing well, we can start thinking about possibly trying to escape this planet somehow, by some miracle. Try, and you know, we have to we have to unlock the mystery, figure out what's going on. We also have that ship Sunbeam, which apparently is a week away from arriving. So, you know, we'll see what happens there. Um, this crevice here used to have aerogel in it, I believe, a long time ago, but they, they changed it. And now you have to get it from a different location. It's an important resource, but yeah, I, I, you can't get it from here anymore. I, I played this when it was in alpha still, so I um, I remember just 
harvesting the sides of these walls for an important resource, and I can't get here anymore. Okay, here's the Aurora. If I didn't have this radiation suit on, I'd be dying right now. Anyway, um, I should be checking for crates. I know there's all sorts of stuff on the ground I'd love to harvest, but uh, my inventory is going to get filled up in the Aurora. Anything I, if I have any space left after I visit the Aurora, I'll I'll get stuff on the way back. Usually there's chests along here. There's one. Med kit. Okay. Is that propulsion cannon? It is. That's a sand shark aggroing on me. No. Propulsion cannon is kind of very useful as well. Med kit, okay. I don't have a med kit problem anymore. There's another chest here. Another med kit. What is this? Okay, the entrance is at the front of the ship. It's the only entrance. Don't bother trying to go around the back or anything. Trust me, just don't. You come, uh... Form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive cobalt will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. So there's the life pod. You come all the way up to the front of the ship here. And you just sneak around here. And don't mess around. Don't go out there. Trust me. Just head straight for the Aurora. Okie dokie. Uh, these crab things are annoying. If I had a propulsion cannon, I'd uh, I'd be able to deal with them. Uh, water. Yeah. Okay, let's just get out of here. Um, there's a... Oh god, crabs. There's an entrance there, but I need the propulsion cannon to get through that entrance. Um, so we have to go through this entrance around here. To avoid those crabs. Ship's structural integrity is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration yeah. is conducted at your own risk. Yeah, I don't have a laser cutter yet. I could have gone and, and made one, actually, but... Um, it doesn't matter, because I can't do everything in one hit on the Aurora anyway. You have to take multiple trips to this place. Ooh, stay away from the crabs. See all these fires here? I could put them out. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. I got way too many medkits. I might have to just drop them and dump them. I mean, remember, medkits are infinite, so... Well, it wouldn't... It wouldn't be a big deal if I did. There's a battery. I guess guards here. That was a bit dangerous. There's crabs. They don't they don't kill you in one hit, but they do take a chunk out of you. So yeah, you can have a med kit right you can have a fire extinguisher right there. I don't need to fire extinguisher this, but I'm going to. Now with the fire extinguisher it's better just to do small bursts like this. If you just hold down the right mouse and spray. You end up just wasting percentage. See, there's still some there. There we go, got it all. But yeah, if you just short little burst, 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 you're uh, you're all good. Uh, I'm not going to bother putting all these fires out just yet. Integrating new PDA data. Aurora systems are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Okay. Propulsion cannon. I can go make that. Blueprint acquired. It's a very useful, very useful tool. Lots of fires here. I have to put out... Oops. Not repair. I don't want to repair the fire. Put out these fires here. There's a little bit there still. So when you're shooting these at... It looks like it's almost all put out, but there's... Did I get it all? No. There he is. Make sure you get it all. 
Um, we'll, we'll put out this fire here. We don't need to. There's nothing behind here. But honestly, I've got more fire extinguishers than I need. Okay, we'll grab this. Data downloads, note to self. We'll, we'll just scan all this stuff now so we don't have to come back in this room again later. Okay, I'm going to click on that in a second. Let's just scan all this. See, there's a battery on the shelf there, hidden. Right there. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled. That's a trash can. Like I said, just scan all these now. I don't have to come back here again. I'll grab this poster. I can put it on the wall of my base. I, I don't really want to fill my inventory up with it, but I just don't want to re-enter this room again. There we go. So the data terminal gave me a lot of stuff. I'm done with this room. Now, um... Okay, so a lot of blueprints here that I haven't clicked on. I just like to get rid of these numbers. Seamoth. This is what I want to make. It's like a little mini submarine. It's really cool. Scanner room. So I'm just going to get rid of all these. You just hover your mouse over it. Bioreactor. Can't build that yet because I don't have a thing. I need one more modification station thing. I'm definitely going to go back to that other wreckage where I got all my cool stuff from. Cured fish. Advanced wiring kit, fiber mesh. There we go, all the numbers disappeared. Okay, now, uh, voice log. I, you know, if you want to re go over them, you can. Why is there still two remaining? Oh, in the middle here, there we go. Okay, now the data bank. So, all sorts of things I could read here. I could sit here, we could just read them all. Um, I'm not going to. Geological data, uh, blueprints tells you about everything. So this is where I want data downloads, codes and clues. And these things tell you information that you need. They have clues in them and codes. So LifePod 6, they were corrupted. Oh, the coordinates were corrupted. That's why we can't see it. It says last available photographic data has been downloaded and analyzed. Okay, so I need to go to that location to find LifePod 6. It's 100 meters. Okay. Anyway, notes to self. Okay, uh, blah, 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 uh, use birthday, weeks before, but have a look at this. Oh, I can't have a look at that, there's a fire in the way. Okay, um, 1454 Cargo Bay Code. So in this Codes and Clues, you'll find all the codes and stuff that you need. Anyway, let's get out of here. I could put these fires out, I don't need to, I'm not going to bother. But all the way over here is the Cargo Bay. Oh, you'll see soon. Is there anything down here for me to scan? No. Okay, so we need to get up on there. You could use a propulsion cannon, but you can also you can also jump there. Oh, assuming you actually push the jump key at the right time. There we go. And you can jump back up on here on these crates there. So you don't actually need the propulsion cannon to pull all these things away. Um, let's go all the way down here. And we have this, this is the cargo bay. And what was it? Oh. Fourteen fifty four. One four five four. And it's green. Open door and we're in the cargo bay. It's unlocked. Oh, we don't want to go down there. As you can see this is uh not looking too healthy. We got there, more water. Speaking of which, let's, um, oh god, all these med kits. Let's drink these two. Oh, actually, these give 30. Uh, we'll have to drink another one anyway. Fire extinguishers. We could eat this Reginald if we want to. Not yet, at 44. Okay, let's go. We should find a few, quite a few blueprints down here. Flood of light. It doesn't matter if we don't get them all. We have to come back in here anyway. Um, should be a Cyclops engine fragment here somewhere. Nutrient block. 
That's nice. 75 food. Goes towards my rations. There we go. Cyclops. Okay, PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, Cyclops is the massive big, you can see it on the left there, the big submarine. We're going to need that at some point. We're going to have to make one of those. It becomes like a mobile base. It's really cool. Um, I thought there was more than one engine blueprint down here. I thought there were multiple. What's this? There's an engine. Okay. There's two. Is that it? Just two? Yeah. Normally I'd be very thorough, but let's, let's just save time. I will have to come back in here later so I can scour this area on another run-in. Nutrient block. Water. Water. Okay, let's get down here. And we're going to have to slide down in here. Now I'm going to get my knife out. There are some nasty little buggers in this water here. Where, where is it? This thing. They attach themselves to your arm and they start... Oh, gosh. Gotcha, you little bugger. They attach themselves. It's called bleeders. They attach themselves to your arm. Oh, God. They attach themselves to your arm and uh, start sucking your life away. Integrating new PDA data. T terrifying little buggers. Okay, so what have we got here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, and this requires our repair tool. This is the Seamoth Bay we're about to enter into. Any of those buggers coming? No. Any buggers in here? Or bleeders, I should call them. Sometimes lockers have stuff in them. Let's grab this thing here. Integrating new PDA data. And this here is really good. Seamoth depth module. Mark 1. That's gonna allow my Seamoth to go to much deeper depths. Um, I've already got these, don't I? I've already got the sea moth from somewhere else, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't want to have to enter this room again. So I'm just gonna clean out this room, get everything, everything in this room that I can get. I hope I got everything. I am usually I'm very methodical, but I'm just gonna rush. Okay, now to get to get through here, you can see sealed door. I need to cut it open. I don't have the the laser cutter yet. I need a couple of diamonds for that. I know where to get diamonds, but uh, we're not going to get them just yet. Um, let's keep doing this. We've got a bit of work to do. I'm at 23 minutes. God, can I get it all done in seven minutes? Sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. <laughs> okay. To get through. One thing I like to do on the Aurora is put out all the fires. No, it's still more there. I like to just run around the ship, just putting out every single fire. Um, you don't have to. You know, you don't need to at all. It'd be nice if I, you know, I could put out this as well, but. Let's not mess around right now. Let's get over here. This should be a Cyclops module, engine efficiency. Looks good. New blueprint acquired. Warning, local radiation at maximum tolerable level. Yep, okay. Drive core shielding breach. Now you need your repair tool for this. I'll just repair the breach. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Ten more detected. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll just we'll just. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Now the rest of them, I have to go under the water, and as you can see, there are bleeders down there. Gosh, one of them will probably get me. 
It doesn't. It doesn't matter. I got him. God. There's two dead. Are there any more down there? I'm sure there are. There's like ten in here. Okay. Well, we'll grab this. Wherever you see the sparks, there's a breach there. Oh. Gotcha. Ah, I one-shotted him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, anyway, let's uh, get more of these breaches. There's one here. There's also a bleeder here. <laughs> Weirdo, you didn't see me. Ah, oh, whoops. I'm not in the right spot. Containment breach repaired. Whoa. Look at them all. Get lost, jerks. Two more there. Any more? Yep. Got him. How's my oxygen looking? Oh, I, I went so close to the surface it filled it up. You don't actually have to surface all the way. You can just get close to the surface and your oxygen will fill. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Okay, let's get them all. How many more are left? I wasn't paying attention. Containment breach repaired. Five to go. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Four to go. Further breaches detected. So these things are the things that are leaking all the radiation. So I get rid of these, I won't need to use my radiation suit anymore. Um... Got him. Where are they all? Okay, there's one here. Containment breach repaired. Further breach Last one. Detected. Drive core breach sealed. Radiation levels decreasing. And there we go. Is there anything over here? And we've got nothing in there. No, that's it. And uh, this doesn't lead to anything. You know, you can clear away all this fire here, but it won't it won't actually help you at all. Like y y you might think that there's stuff hidden underneath, but there isn't. So yeah, I I, I do like getting rid of all the fires. I'm weird. I don't like that there's a raging fire going on. See, if you don't get all of it, it flares up again. What's in there? Is there a fire in there? No. I, I don't know if you can get those fires up there. But, uh, yeah. So... There are some fires I don't think you can actually get, but uh, all the ones on the ground you can. And, um, you know, there's fire here as well. I'm just being really weird right now. This is completely unnecessary. Don't do this yourself. I just can't stand seeing things on fire. Oh, this one's flared back up again. If you don't get it all, then it, it comes back. See, there's still some sparks there. There we go, I got them all. So there's one thing you get to know about the fires. It looks like you've got it all, but there might be tiny little sparks. See, this keeps coming back to life. The done, the dead. There we go, all the fires are out. All good. 
There's not. There's nothing here, as you can see. We got rid of all the fires. You might think there's something under here, like a little thing to scan, but there's nothing there. Anyway, let's get out of here. <sighs> Another fire extinguisher. Yeah, you got more than enough fire extinguishers. More than you need. So, like, just go ham with them. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so that's done. I can't enter there without the cutter. That's done. Everything's done. Let's uh, let's go back to base. Oh, I just realised I'm at the 30 minute mark. How are we going for space? I have seven spots free. Although I'm going to drink some water. There we go. I might eat this Reginald as well. There we go. All good. Um, yeah, so like I can I can continually do this if I want. Just keep putting fires out. I'm just like using up my my fire extinguishers basically. I'm just gonna chuck them. Like once they're used up, they're useless. You can't refill them or anything. So you can just throw them away. Or make a trash can and stick them in there. Is that it? All good. Anyway, I might um, call the episode here. As you can see, nothing under here. There's no like secret hidden thing that the game's hiding from you. I, kind of annoying because I, I wish they did. I wish like in amongst all these fires here, they had some kind of you know secret compartment or something that you know some sort of Easter egg. Whoa, whoa, look at this. Yeah, there is something here. A nutrient block. Just get rid of that. Um, I don't think there's anything under here. Yeah, nothing at all. Now, you can actually, like, get up here walk along these beams like it, it oh that's the roof falling on me it feels like there should be something here like a a pda or something i'm currently taking damage that's it but like um there are things in this game that i don't know how to get into and we'll get to that at some point but I, I've always wondered if behind all those fires it's like a secret PDA with a code in it or something. But there's nothing there. Okay, we'll put that away. Okay, let's get out of here. I've done most of the stuff I need to do. Obviously there's all these other fires here I'd like to put out, but uh, I've used up all three fire extinguishers. So, uh, yeah. Oops. I have no need to go the long way around. We'll just go through here. Yeah. I'm a bit worried. Down there is some scary stuff. Yeah, can you see that? There's a tail of something gigantic there. We'll get to there very soon. Um, anyway, I'm just going to head back to um, to base. I'm going to pick up, what, eight things on the way? Oh, actually, I can drink some water. There we go. Nine things. So we can do a bit of, a bit of harvesting on the way. Um, I do need more titanium. And as you can see, there's titanium everywhere here. What is that? Is that? That's propulsion cannon. I think I've already got it. Yeah. There's three titanium. I really should just try and pick up more copper and stuff. Give me a battery. Yeah, battery. You normally you don't get so many med kits. I think it's random. Normally you get a lot more batteries when you uh, search the Aurora. How many batteries are I got three on me anyway, and you need two for a power cell, so kind of important. Now this this is called shale. Shale can drop some very useful resources. Remember like, the materials you gather 
are the property of the All Terra Corporation, you will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at three million credits. <laughs> I just uh, found a diamond. Give me a second diamond. Shale. The biomass in this area Damn. is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint All Terra vehicle signatures. I, I, I want a diamond. 30 seconds. Yeah, uh, let's, let's uh, use a med kit. There we go. That's not a good sound. Ah, I was hoping for a diamond. But this... 100 meters. Oh, lithium. Efficiency decreased. I want Oxygen. all this stuff. Whoops. Eight. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, what have I done? It's okay. When you get to zero, you don't die instantly. There's a... You've got like three seconds or so. I think I found... Oh, this is life pod four. That's, that's disturbing. I'm getting out of here. I have to come back here. Like, there's, there's nothing else for it. Look at this. Resources everywhere. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go back to base. And before I start the next episode... I'm going to rush out here and I'm just going to harvest. I'm just going to, you know, grab as many different resources as I can. And uh, hopefully stock up my cupboards a bit. So when I start the next episode... Oh, there's a... When I start the next episode... That's a med kit. You're, you're going to see... Uh, I'm going to have a lot more resources to play with. Let's just get back. Oops. Worried about my oxygen level. So we'll just head back and um, and then yeah, restart the episode after. Uh, now actually, I will I will harvest on screen. I, I not harvest. I mean, I'm not like mining resources, but I will go out there because there is danger out there. And I might also try and grab some blueprints off the the floor there, the ocean floor. What on earth? Okay. So first thing I'll do is Welcome aboard, Captain. get some titanium. I love that. Welcome aboard, Captain. Captain. Um, get the lead in there. That diamond is useful. As you can see, I've picked up an enormous number of med kits. I don't need that many. Uh, these disinfected water give 30 water as opposed to 20 water from the ones I harvest from the bladder fish. I think there are a lot of nutrient blocks here. I'll grab another Reginald. I don't need this poster. And yeah, these three fire extinguishers are done. But yeah, I've now got lots of batteries. Which means I can start thinking about a sea moth. Okay everyone, I'm going to stop there. Thanks for watching. And I uh, hope you all come back and, and tune in the next episode. Next episode should be the sea moth. Which is, uh, yeah, it's exciting. Okay. Bye for now.